So we're over here at the Toronto Reptile Expo and uh, Pet Show, and we're gonna show you guys around. We're here with one of the promoters, this is Kerry, and from KB Reptile. So we'll be showing you guys around. Stay tuned. So, this is a, one of those shows that everybody says is kind of small, but it looks pretty big and it's, uh, you know, pretty crowded. And we're checking out Billy, you know, he has a nice setup here. So, when you guys are in the area for one of these shows, there's some pretty good vendors here. And, uh, of course, we've got the master here, so um, we'll show you some of his animals, but since we videoed there already, we're going to keep it moving. So, we're here with Will from Royal Canadian Reptiles, he's behind us. And, uh, He's one of the big breeders as well here in Canada. Uh, he's some really awesome animals. He works with you know Desert Ghost and Puzzle and uh, Cryptic, and he has um, obviously a bunch of other things as well. So uh, what what kind of stuff? So I see that you know I want to take a look at this guy here. Yeah, you have some ghost. really amazing animals. Thank you. Um, so uh, what's your big project for this year? Oh man, there's so many. It's going to be the Desert Ghost double recessive stuff. Desert Ghost Puzzle, Desert Ghost Clown. Desert Ghost Pied. I'd like to see uh, see Desert Ghost Lavender. I don't know yeah. if that's going to be a... I don't know if it's going to be cool or not, but you have to try it, right? I would imagine it'd still be pretty cool. I, I think you'll notice it. Really brighten up. Brighten up a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. my thinking, too. Yeah. Um, a, lot of, a lot of puzzle combos this year. Uh, a lot of... So I'm really, hoping I really blow the can off of the, the Desert Ghost Clown stuff. Get into like Orange Dream, Fire, Enchi, Desert Ghost Clown, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, hoping to hit visual comp, visual DG Clowns. Um, more puzzle stuff. Just a, and then the Wookiee stuff too. I, I, I really like oh, yeah. the Wookiees. Uh, it, it's, I just was sort of tinkering with it this year and then after mm -hmm. seeing some of the combos I made, it, I was like, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go a lot. More in depth with the Wookie this year. Yeah, yeah, for Wookie, sure. Yeah, it's something that we're not in yet. We have a couple of friends that do it, obviously. Yeah, and, um, we're interested. It, it's hard when you're like, I really want to get into like <laughs> fifty different, yeah. you know, like yeah. new boards for us. You know, we need space. So, yeah, that's, uh, it's, it's tough. <laughs> space, money, and time. I yeah, feel like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So tell us a little Fine. bit about this one. It's this is a not for sale. This one's not for sale. It but, was for sale, and then it just kept getting better and better, and I just it's smoking. So that's a uh, vanilla pastel lesser enchi. Desert Ghost, and I think it's probably chocolate as well. Oh my! So goodness. this one is that's a butter enchi chocolate Desert Ghost, and you can see how it's like it gives it that like blurriness. And this one, if if you just added vanilla pastel to to this, I think it would be this. Don't know for sure, but it's a male, and so I'm gonna incorporate this into like our Desert Ghost puzzle, our Desert Ghost clown. I think Lesser in Desert Ghost is actually um, a lot of people are down on Lesser and the blue eyed leucistic stuff, but when you desert ghost it, it just, I just love it. Man, that thing is so creamy. I don't know Isn't how it, else to explain it's it. It's like, like lemon yellow. Yeah, it's just, really bright, super, super clean. Really nice. What a beautiful thing. animal. Yeah, thank you. I, I was really happy with this one. One of my favorites of the year. Yeah. Then we can move on into... Uh, yeah, you want to show this guy here. So there's a bumblebee desert ghost clown. So that's a visual desert ghost clown. That's visual DG clown, yep. And it also has pastel and spider. Yes, I wish it didn't have the spider, but yeah. I'm not gonna complain. It's uh, you know, just a- Still, the spider a, added a, you it, know, the it, pattern a bit different. The head is like for sure. crazy because of the spider. And you get this like nice pin striping down its back. Just, yeah. I, I'm really happy super, with it. Super, super clean. Like how yellow it is and like yeah. nothing else. It's, it's just and it'll get better. That's yeah. the thing with the Desert Ghost. It just will continuously get better. Yeah. This one, also a really neat combo. That's Butter Chocolate Enchi, Desert Ghost. Really nice and clean. Real creamy, nice and smooth. Wow. Real pretty animal. Yeah. And then you get into, you want to see some puzzle stuff? Yeah. Sure. So, this guy. 
And dealing with puzzles is always a trick. <laughs> so that's they say. They say sometimes that's that shouldn't be genetic, but yeah, you know, it, it does seem it. It <laughs> certainly seems like it. Yeah. So that's a vanilla pastel puzzle. And look at that pattern. That pattern is crazy, just, right? Yeah. It, that's what I love it's about real the puzzling. Puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> I see what That's you did it, there. Off the camera. <laughs> Get out of here. Vanilla pastel puzzle. Wow. We made a. Love the hooking. Yeah, we made a a desert ghost puzzle, but I didn't bring I didn't bring him just because I just he's doing well at home and just didn't want to interrupt his uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. He's doing very well. Um, yeah. yeah. You can show a Wookie if you want, but it's far away. <laughs> sure, I can I can come around and show you guys a Wookie. Um, where did I put my keys? There So, here's your base gene Wookie. Nice dark combo, or ni just nice dark gene. Get that like cinnamon kind of head to it. Really nice coppery, uh, coppery eye stripes. Nice and dark. I don't think the bellies are all that crazy, just the standard belly. But really, uh, really nice. I, I really like this. I just started playing with it this year, and then you make the add pinstripe to it, and you get the Wookie pin. Look at that! Wow, head. that is so so different from a pinstripe, right? Yeah, just adds, added so much texture to it. Nice, like the copper head, dark eyes. You really, like pull out the dorsal. You know, yeah, nuts. And then I bred it into a phantom. Sorry. I read it into a phantom and that's your Wookiee phantom. It works really well. Wow. Yeah, it works really, really nice with the phantom. You get these nice white sides. Man. Really cool animal, right? So that one, this is the one I'm keeping. And then in that same clutch, we hit it with pastel. And with pastel, it just blew it out. Wow. Still kept the contrast around right? the alien heads. I love that. It's like I would love to see this as a desert ghost. Absolutely. I was just gonna say. So Wookie is uh, is a co-dominant gene, yeah? Well, it's so far, yes. Uh, we don't know if there's a super form. So okay. we're hoping that there's a super. There's a, I won't be the first one to make a super, not even close. There's some guys that have uh, breeder sex females. I just made females uh, for the first time this year. So okay. like I said it. But I'm gonna take an educated guess and say that there is a super form. Okay. I can't think of a dark gene like it that doesn't have one. You look at like right. mahogany, chocolates, uh, black pastels, they all have a super. And yeah. I'm, I'm hoping it's it's not just a black snake, but we'll find out. Yeah. It, uh, it appears to be allelic with MoMA and spider. Again, I, I don't know what that's for sure. I haven't done the the breeding trials to say that, but it's what I've heard from other guys. Yeah. And if that's the case, it's probably a Lelic with black head as well. Yeah. It's a spider and all that. So that'd, that'd be, be sweet. It's an interesting project for sure. Yeah. All right, well, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so this is Ben with sale. Royal Canadian <laughs> Reptiles. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ben from uh, Royal. <laughs> so thank you so much. Anytime, uh, man. Anytime. It. And, no, uh, I appreciate you guys coming show, up. Right? Yeah. Thank you for coming out to the show. Like, yeah, it's, no, it's I'm, great. thanks for coming up to you know, shed some light on the Canadian show. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. See you guys in Tinley in March? Yeah, absolutely. We're, uh, we're vending Tinley in March. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Not any yeah. I'm sure it'll be great. If you're there, it's a big show. It is. It's a fun show. Yeah, so we'll be there. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks for stopping by. We're here with Canadian Cold Blood. Um, just want to give a little shout out to Adeline Robinson. Uh, thank you for you know pointing us this way. But so I'm holding an Indonesian blue tree monitor here. And this is a young one here. And how big do these get? Uh, 36 inch, give or take. 36 inch. So they're they're not terribly large. I mean, it's a good size. I think it's a great size as a pet. Um, something that we're we're kind of looking to maybe add to one of our collections. Uh, a little tough for us to get in uh, from Canada right now, but we do have 
some in the United States. And uh, these guys are like premier for making, you know, some monitor stuff, right? That's what you guys That's, that's kind of in. what I'm known for, yeah. Yeah, yeah the monitors for sure. Yeah, so what are you most passionate about? Well, in the, in, in the monitors, well, right now, uh, I have to say I'm right into the on the tree monitor bandwagon, yeah. right? So I've, I've had success with the blue trees, green trees, yellow trees. Finally, got a decent group of black tree monitors, so hopefully Boxes, breeding, yeah. yeah, hopefully breeding to come really cool. with those. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I love them all. They all have yeah, something yeah. unique about them. Uh, I, I've been breeding them for 20 years, roughly, and, and tree monitors just in the last four or five, but yeah, uh, but, yeah so, so this good. is captive bread. Oh yeah, I, I don't sell anything well done. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, these I are mean, all CB the, by me. Yeah, that's yeah. the that's the best deal. I mean, that's the deal you really need to do. When you're getting something uh, wild caught, it can be, uh, you know, sketchy, so you gotta be careful. You really know what you're doing. When you get something captive bred, it's a lot better for the animals as well as it's a better experience for you. Um, in general. And you know the history, right? And you know, know I know exactly how old that is. Mm -hmm. You know, you know where it's been and I can ensure that it's doing well before it goes to their new home yeah. and all of that stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you know Bre uh, Brandon Chevlet, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. And what did you, uh, nice. did you provide him with some things? Oh, uh, help him <laughs> well, I have sold him He's, some Pilbara rock so, monitors. Yeah, some Pilbara <laughs> rock yeah, monitors. Yeah. We, we like Brandon, uh, we see him at yeah, the, yeah. the Tinley Expo, he's a great guy, yeah. uh, Rare Earth, and um, so it's great to see you guys here, and uh, it's it's a busier show than we expected, what, you know, yeah. are you enjoying yourself? It's a good show, right? Uh, yeah, it, I, I always enjoy myself, here, yeah. right? just talking to people, like guys like yourself yeah. come through, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks. Well, we appreciate you taking the time. You have some beautiful animals, um, and I'll be taking this one back. So we'll be <laughs> just yeah, kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't have the paperwork. Yeah, made yeah. Out Quarter for control. You. Don't look. Don't yeah, look. Yeah. 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 So, all, right. all right. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. So we're here with Chris Towers and uh, Chris Towers Reptiles. He's doing some work with Sunset stuff. He has a, a bunch of really cool animals. He's Ultramel stuff, which we really enjoy. Um, so how long have you been doing this? Since uh, 2006, uh, on a, a serious level, I've been keeping snakes almost my whole life. My older brother was into them, so I kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. We always had snakes around the house, but I, as far as seriously collecting ball python morphs, I think I bought my first ones in early 2006, so we're looking at 14 years now. Wow, yeah. that's great. So what, uh, what projects are you really excited about this year? Ultramel, everything Ultramel. Ultramel is my absolute favorite. I love that stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's great. So what, what Ultramel like combo? You're like, man, this is what I'm shooting for. I'm really shooting for the GHI Ultramel stuff this year. Um, some. Hmm. Never really some, thought about that one. Some blackhead Ultramel stuff. Some leopard. Some champagne. Mm -hmm. Just trying to do some different things that not everyone's doing. Uh, really awesome. focusing on the GHI stuff. The, the dark stuff works really well with the Ultramel. So yeah. I just, I think the GHI is really going to be a winner. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you taking a awesome. couple minutes. And, uh, yeah, guys. thank you for, uh, you know, doing the show, supporting oh, yeah. us. Oh, hope you guys have a good time. Thank Thanks you, man. Thanks for Take care, guys. Thanks. Nyoka, and they have a little YouTube channel you guys we're gonna put the de link in the description below so you guys can check it out but they have a handful of animals here and they're also breeders and they're here in Canada so uh, what made you want to do a YouTube channel well it was actually my wife's idea because when we're doing shows like this we always have people asking like for feeding or care and that kind of stuff so I yep. thought it would be a lot easier just to have the channel and have a resource for customers to go and look at to see at least, at least how I do it. So I'm gonna take all my animals to see how I how I care for them and what I do so they could emulate the same thing. That's great. And that's like, you know, half the battle is sometimes when people want to get into us, one of the big fears is that they don't know how to take care of the animals or they're worried that they wouldn't provide the proper care for the animals. So by doing the YouTube videos, you guys can go check that out. 
then it's an easy way for them to interact without having to, you know, like talk to people. Because sometimes you can be in a weird spot not wanting to talk to people. Or, so it's a great idea. Or sometimes asking questions you don't want to. In our hobby, or, sometimes yeah. people really come down on people asking questions. Yeah. So it was a safe resource for people who don't want to ask the questions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome though. So it's great. Well, thanks, man. No worries. I appreciate it. All right, thank you, you got some good animals here. Thank you. So we met some uh, friends here at the reptile show. What's your name? Uh, Kevin. Maria. And uh, it looks like you have a nice little uh, pet coming home with you today. We sure uh, do. Yes, what did you pick up? Female genetic stripe. Oh, nice. Yep. Female G stripe. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, nice big girl to come into our collection. Awesome. <laughs> and do you have a Facebook page or something? Uh, we have Instagram. Instagram? Yeah. What's your uh, handle? Moonsong. Moonsong. Right yeah. on. So check them out on Instagram. Awesome. <laughs> so we're here with Air Tree Pythons. Very, uh, ben loves green, so yeah, he's very attracted to this table. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Don. Don? Yeah, I'm Ryan. Darcy. Darcy. And uh, I really like your displays here. Uh, what are you passionate about? So uh, I've worked a lot with clowns. So I got a lot of head clowns and bananas in there. Some killer clowns. I got some other projects at home that I'm working on. Uh, not quite up to size yet, but okay. next year we should really hit the clowns pretty awesome. hard. Yeah. What are you trying to make next year? Um, we're trying to get some uh, ghost clowns. Ghost clowns. Yeah, and uh, we've got some triple heads working with hide and cloud and hypo. So. It's, awesome. it's, it's a long haul, but we're going to try. Yeah. And uh, where'd you come up with the name for your company? This is actually my last name in English. So my last name is Porgy, okay. and it translates to pear trees. There you go. Wow. <laughs> I actually didn't expect that. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys. No problem. Sure Enjoy the show. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. The reason we're in Canada is right here. So we came to see Carrie and Barrison from KB Reptiles. They have a, I don't know if you guys can see behind us. So they have a little bit of a booth here. They're selling Reptichip. Um, I know it's different than what we sell, but, <laughs> but we won't say anything. <laughs> these guys, Reptichip in Canada. So you guys, you know, you gotta come see them if you're looking for any cocoa. And uh, so tell us, what are you guys doing here? Like, how did you guys become the oh. face of uh, reptiles actually in all of Canada? Uh, well, <laughs> it was kind of weird actually because we thought that we were getting in trouble. So we had come, we had come to an expo and the promoter Grant asked us to step outside and he was like, I need to talk to you guys. And we're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> So then he was like, and then so then he said that he wanted us to kind of like, you know, host the, the show. So, which is it, honestly, what we thought was, you know, we were getting in trouble for it has turned out to be such a privilege and an honor to do this. Honestly, and yeah. it's just, it's so much fun to get out there and meet so many incredible people and vendors and see so many cool animals and travel around a little bit. It's been awesome. Yeah, and you know what? It's actually allowed us to travel to see guys like you more, to get out to the States, mm -hmm. to hang out. We really enjoy it. Yeah. All right. And what, uh, aside from the Raptors, what is your favorite project that you guys are working on this year? Oh, so ball pythons obviously is what we do. Uh, besides the Reptile Chip and Easy Hash trays, we work with Ultramel, some Clown, some Hypo, some Genetic Stripe. So we're trying to do all of those individually and then try to get some of those in a group. So this year should be a good step towards it. We're going to probably produce a lot of double heads. We had some visuals last year, some double heads this year, and 2021 should be yeah. moving up. And maybe a surprise project. Oh. Surprise project. surprise project that we will let you yes. guys know when we go to visit yes, the house. Yes, absolutely. We'll, <laughs> yeah, you're coming back. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So we definitely have to come back. We were supposed to come go visit them. They had some things happen that, you know, they're just super busy. When you're the face of well, reptiles, and yeah, it's <laughs> it nothing to do with so reptiles. <laughs> but, so, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be doing a video with them at their place yeah. at some point. Yeah. Uh, so you guys will have to stay tuned to that. So we're going to put their information in the description below. And if you guys are in the area and you see a reptile expo in the Toronto area, you guys got to come check it out. Um, you guys got to see the, the walkthrough of what we did. 
And uh, obviously there's a lot more here than what we're showing you. The video would be really, really long um, if not. But come and stop by, say hi to these guys, and they'll definitely give you a hug and high fives and foot rubs and stuff like that. So we do it for everybody. It's really weird here. They're really nice in Canada. Really nice. Like Most of us, anyway. There's someone out of the picture you guys don't want to see. But honestly, we want to thank you guys for making the trip down. It's awesome. You guys are both great. So guys, thank you very much. And we'll come and see you. Yeah, that'd be great. We're coming down to Jersey. What? Yeah, we'll set up a couple of things for you guys. Yeah, I appreciate awesome. it, brother. Thank you thank very much. You so much. Thank Ryan, thank you. Thank you. Are you going to shake my hand? Yeah, I was going to give you my first massage. I swear I'm here. Yay. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you. A little closer? You all right? Can, how, yeah, can, can you see that? Can you see the musician? Can, can you see me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I can see their signs in the background. Okay. It's really popular in the background. <laughs> so. Yeah. We're good if you get hot. Buddy? Oh, I know. You don't like. Uh, of course. Oh, yeah. It was bound right. to happen. That's why it's it bound to happen. Bit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm holding here an Australian blue tree monitor. Indonesian. Oh, this is Indonesian. It's an Indonesian oh, I'm sorry. one. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's Let me good. do that again. 